Good morning. My name is Andrew Changawa from Bachelor of Science in Computer Science PE. I'm from the group 2 and my members is Jan Ben Augustus Nadal and Roberto Baez Jr. So today, um, in the discuss ko ay about binary search algorithm. So first, uh, let me define what is binary binary search algorithm is. So in computer science, binary search, also known as half interval search, logarithmic search, or binary chop, is a search algorithm that finds the position of a target value within a sorted array. Binary search compares the target value to the middle element of the array. So, what algorithm does binary, binary search use? So, binary search is a fast search algorithm with runtime complexity of O log of N. This search algorithm works on the principle of divide and conquer. Uh, we already discussed about the divide and conquer in the subject of algorithm and complexity. For this algorithm to be worked, though the, the data coll collected should be in the sorted form. So, the problem is, okay. so for the problem number one, also design a Python program for each problem. So problem one, the linear search, policemen, and thieves. You are given a read of size n times n. That has the following specification. First, each cell in the grid contains either a policeman or a thief. Second, a policeman can only catch a thief if both are in the same row. Third, each policeman can only catch one thief. And last, a policeman cannot catch a thief who is more than k units away from the policeman. So write a program to find the maximum number of thieves can be caught in the grid. Okay, so this is the program that we made for the problem number one. Uh, first, we define the thieves as the function for policeman problem. So n is the grid size and problem while k is the distance between the thieves and policemen. And the, re the rest is some implementation to get the maximum um, maximum tips that can be caught. So we use uh, if else statements and other implementation. So uh, in this part, uh, the prog uh, the user will input the uh, a test case in the given in the template. So we input lang natin yung nasa template and dapat tama yung lumabas sa sagot according to our answers. So now let's try to run our program according to the input. So for that hmm, uh, output, uh, test cases as we run the program, let's try the run, to run the program. So five, uh, para hindi na tayo mahirapan. I will just copy this uh, um, inputs and paste it to this console. So, according uh, as we run the program and input the variables, we have uh, the maximum tips that can be caught is 3. So, 3 daw yung makukuha um, at tips na makukuha ng mga police. So, ang output ay 3. Next, input. Second, run natin. So, 4. Ang output niya. Next, for the third one, 5. So, the maximum tips that can be caught is 5. So, 5 din yung output natin dito. Next, for the fourth run, 9. So, the maximum tips that can be cut is 9. So, 9 din yung output natin dito sa ating template. Next, for the last, uh, we have the maximum cut. The maximum tips that can be cut is 6. 
So, yan. Nag- the code uh, automatically exit kasi limang beses lang tayo pwede mag-test case. So, the program will uh, will end automatically. So, yan. Next, for the problem number 2. So, binary search row 2 playoffs. So, the problem is the foot in a football championship, and teams are competing against each other on the league. The current number of points of each team are x1, x2, x3, and x of n. And these of league stage are remaining. And on each day, k teams wins, and each of the winning teams' point is increment incremented by one. Top B teams will qualify for the playoffs in the championships. Officials of the tournament want to know how many teams have a non-zero probability of making it to the playoffs. So note if points of a certain teams are equal, any of the teams can qualify for playoffs and each team has equal probability. So the input format, so first, the first line contains an integer t denoting the number of the test cases for each test case. The first line contains four space separated integers n, m, k, and b. The second line contains n space separated integers as x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, and x sub n. So output format, print t integers for each test case. So this is the program that the group 2 made for the problem number 2. So next, uh, we use the import math and define league as function for finding the teams and making for it in the playoffs. So next, get the number of the test cases from the user. So ang um, test cases lang natin is, uh, the maximum is 5. So next, we use a while, while loop and some implementation and uh, FLS program. So next, we on um, the last part of the prog uh, the code is display the number of the qualified teams for the playoffs and print the team that can make into the playoffs. So let's try to run a program. Kung gagana ba talaga siya and makuha natin yung tamang sagot dun sa problem number two. Okay, so. Yan, test case. So, meron lang tayong limang test case. Limang beses lang natin siya pwedeng i-test. So, run. For example, 5. I, I mean, 5 talaga yung, ano niya, yung test case niya. So, next. 4, 2, 2, 1. 4, 1, 2, 3. So, yan. Uh, teams that can make into the playoffs are 3. So, 3 teams lang yung pwedeng makasama sa playoffs. Next input, we have 4, 1, 1, and 1. And 4, 4, 4, 4, and 4. So, the teams can make into the playoffs are 4 teams. Next, we have... 4, 1, 2, 1, and 3, 1, 2, 4. So, the team that can make are 2. So, preta lang natin to ng 2. Next, we have 5, 2, 1, and 1, 5, 4, 3, 1, and 2. Okay, so the teams that can make it to the playoffs are three teams. So last input natin is yung 5, 1, 1, 1, tatlong 1 siya, and the rest, um, limang 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So dapat ang input natin ay 5. So pagaya nung sa uh, linear search natin sa problem number 1, um, 
the program will end automatically or exit automatically kasi limang beses lang tayo pwede mag-test sa program natin. So, nakuha naman natin yung tamang sagot sa um, sa problem number 2. So, uh, thank you for listening and that will be end today.